truth, actually, over the next two or three days, with Sunday likely to see scattered showers throughout at least England and Wales. Now, today we had rain, no thunder at all, and that's more or less drifted away now. It was welcome in many places, unless, of course, you were on holiday. It'll die slowly overnight, probably over the uh, eastern Midlands or Lincolnshire and down further south. Now, it divides, actually, the very sticky weather, once again, from the southeast of England, 17 is the lowest temperature, from this much fresher weather where you can sleep quite happily. Tomorrow, the front that's bringing that rain, that cloud, is still there, but it's uh, behind a nose of high pressure, so it's being squeezed dry. It's going to disappear slowly throughout the day. It does mean we start the day they're pretty cloudy. Anywhere, I'd have thought, probably from Leeds right the way down towards the south coast of England, a lot of mist around, and slowly improve, but it'll start a lot better further north and west than that, through most of Ireland, Scotland, northern England, and Wales. Well, as the rest of England slowly catches up and the bright weather comes up, temperatures will rise, and that, of course, often means showers are likely. There's a small chance by the end of the day of a few showers running through the channel, the southern counties of England. Temperatures will be pretty high again. 25 or 26 are quite likely. We might see a 29 after all. We saw 30 today in North Holt in London. But more especially for Northern England and Scotland, into the low 20s is quite a contrast to many places today. That is going to be quite pleasant and not nearly so humid as further south. Now for Saturday, pressure is still high. But of course, this is the three fine days, the end of it. We start to see the breakdown from the south then. So although Saturday should start dry, quite misty, probably fairly cloudy. There'll be a lot of sunshine by the end of the day and then scattered showers in the evening through southern England and south Wales as the temperatures get up once again. For Sunday, pressure's still high. We're bringing a bit of a breeze onto the coast. That'll be a pleasant place to be unless there's a rather persistent fog, which is possible right up towards eastern Scotland. Then as the temperatures get high, then anywhere in England or Wales could see a scattered shower or thunderstorm, but for most places it'll be dry. <laughs>